Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is day one of the Brewer's Advent calendar. And today we are trying Helleschlager from the Privet Brewery Schnitzelbaumer out of Traunstein, Germany. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are super excited to kick off uh, December 1st uh, and have our Brewer's Advent Calendar box that we are going to be bringing to you one show and one beer every day starting today, December 1st, all the way to December 24th. And we are going in order. Uh, with the numbers as they appear on the box. So we are starting here with number one. So if you're following along at home and you have your Brewer's Advent box, uh, you can follow along with us and drink the beer that we are drinking today. So with that, what are we drinking today, Andy in the attic, who is looking very festive, and Jay, <laughs> and I'm Ben. This is the Hellish. It's a lager beer from the Privet Brewery. <laughs> Schnitzelbaumer, um, out of Traunstein, Germany. A city of beer. City of beer. So oh, say they. Yeah, let's just open this up. Andy, I am very impressed with you, German. I, uh, you can thank um, Google Translate for that. Just want to get it right. And for one day when I go there, when we go there. Yeah, right. Have you ever visited Germany? I've uh, just stopped on a train stop on the way through. Yeah, I, so, I, I actually was fortunate enough to go there. and been to a couple of places, Frankfurt, Munich, um, and then toured the countryside. Been to the Frankfurt airport and the Munich train station. That's done it. <laughs> Heidelberg. Yeah. Heidelberg was just a really cool city. You know, they built a wall all the way around the city. So... Uh, Houston Swan's Castle. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. We'll we'll tell you about it, Ben. Mm -hmm. What what did you do there, Ben? I poured it. <laughs> I poured it. Wow. Foam. That's German, man. That is, <laughs> it's like I'm tasting Germany right here. I mean, look at mine, Ben. Look at yours. What? what Make it happen? foam, Jay. So, this is a Helles lager, type of lager, uses, and the Helles beers, a um, little different from your pale lagers. They use noble hops, German noble hops. They're a very refreshing, subtle sweetness, restraint on the bitterness, um, usually in that 4.8 to 5.6 ABV. And um, the Helles, uh, in German means like bright or pale in color, usually, typically this, this color. I don't have my overhead light on now since I've got the festive lights to see, see it shine sure. through. You can see mine. Yeah. So it's, um, this brewery was founded in 1575. So it's been wow. churning out beers for over 440 years. And one of the things that is, is stated here on the box is that these Almost are independent family-owned breweries in yeah. germany mm -hmm. uh, so every beer in this box uh is stated as such so i'm expecting a lot of beers from a lot of breweries that we have probably never heard of uh which is great uh and, and exciting for sure so i think they'll yeah. all be that way won't they pretty much I, all of them yes. are gonna be, and we're going to find a lot of information out so th there's been some nerding out going on well enlighten us andy well, I mean, that's about it on this one. I'm talking for, for, <laughs> for future beers. If we got 23 more of these, and that's a lot of research. But um, this brewery, the Privet Brewery uh, Schnitzelbaumer. So essentially, Schnitzelbaumer is the name of the brewery. Privet Brewery is private brewery. Okay. Brewer, I, whatever. I, you know. um, this one's 4.9%, so it's within that, that Hellas Light range. And like I said, they have 10 standard beers. 
Is there any IBUs on this one? I think it's zero. Um, their website did not, not indicate that. It's not at all. So, yeah. yeah. It's not, not at all. I like how this advent calendar, they were all pints. Yes. All that pints. That's really cool. And I thought it was like, oh, there's 16 ounces. And then when I put it in this one level of my beer fridge, I was like, because I have my other 16 ounce cans of some other craft beer in there. And I'm like, why is this not fitting? It's like, oh, it's a pint, you know, and it's a different shape of can, you, you know. So, hey, had to yeah. go to a lower level. And the box is really heavy too. It's like, you know, you just got yeah. thinking, oh, you got 24 beers and here you got a, a case essentially. And then you're like, why is this thing so heavy? And it's again, because more of beer. that extra more beer. So. Yeah, I, don't, um, I, don't, I don't lift by the handle because my when Andy yeah your me the bottom of a, yours bottom of mine's got a little bust in it, mm. but those things are in there snug. Oh yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. They're very secure. Yep. So yeah, we we just to to if we haven't said this already, pick this up at Costco. Uh, it's about seventy dollars roughly, uh, at least when when we bought it, um, and we bought it in mid September. So. Uh, it seems like this is something that comes out every year uh, and is available at Costco. And it comes out, you know, you'll see it after Labor Day into October from, from what I could tell. Um, so uh, if you haven't gone out and gotten yours yet, it's probably too late at this point. Uh, it might be worth checking out just to be sure, uh, but definitely something to look for next year. And, uh, you know, we'll likely, uh, I'll assume we'll, we'll likely try to do another one of these or, something similar next year as well so yeah I, th I think sam's has a variation as well um seen something the other day when i was uh wondering through there well it was probably a month ago so yeah. <sighs> all right are we ready to go around and rate this one yes we are mine has foamed down enough that it's drinkable jay why don't you go first sure um, I really like this. I mean, it's smooth. It's easy. It's it's light. It, it reminds me of kind of a a cross between a lager and a pale ale in some ways. Um, and the the flavor on it is great. Um, you know, I, I, I'm concerned getting this box in September. These had come from Germany at some point. How you know what's the lifespan on some of these going to be? We've always run into that in the past. Um, and especially with, <clears throat> uh, beers that come, uh, overseas, they, they don't use as many preservatives as some of the ones here in, in the States. So, um, I, I think it's a great beer. I'm, I'm going to rate it a seven and a half. Yeah. You said they don't put preservatives, which is true because they have their strict brewing laws, the purity mm -hmm. law over there, and it's pretty much water, barley malt, hops. Yep. That's it. That's most of their ingredients that they put on there. That's, that's how they, they write it. That's why, you know, some of the macros that we do, I mean, they, they put preservatives so those beers can last six months, 12 months, 18 months, however long they are. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what the lifespan some should be, but um, I often think that those contribute to some of the, the ones that I often called like a headache in a can. Um, <laughs> from the preservatives so and those beers are typically so good that if they go out of range you usually know it right yeah <laughs> of course being sarcastic there andy what do you think <laughs> um you know the more sips i take and thinking especially on some of our past macro mondays this really reminds me of those uh, recipes of these macro breweries that it's a German immigrant that brings over the recipe, brings over their whatever the yeast strain or the specific hop variety. Because the more I taste it, the more it's like, okay, is this more like a Coors Banquet beer or like Budweiser? That little bit of sweetness, hardly any bitterness, and you know, the same type of color it's very reminiscent you know they call those uh you know pale lagers uh, i think miller high life is the pilsner so 
I'm wondering if those original macros that came over to the U.S., you know, with the German immigrants, were closer to like a Helles lager than uh, than just a regular pale lager. Uh, I mean, that said, you know, I gave some of those pretty favorable reviews, and this is refreshing. It's easy, mm-hmm. easy drinking. Um, I, I'll easily, you know, it's a little sweeter than I normally want, but I'll give it a 7.0 on this one. This was easy to take. But again, it just reminds me of, you know, like a macro, but from the motherland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. A, definitely a great observation because, you know, you're saying that, you know, all you had to say was some of these macros that we drank. And it, yeah, it definitely took me back to, to trying those and, and, and reviewing those. I think that, um, that, I feel like the flavor is is similar, but I, I think this has a little more flavor than we've got from some of those mi- yeah. macros. It's not as watered down necessarily mm-hmm. as you would see with a banquet or, you know, a Budweiser or something like that. I mean, I think that it's just more full bodied. Um, it is than, than we would see. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think it's really good, refreshing, uh, great beer to drink. Definitely, you know. Uh, Definitely a good one to kick off uh, the advent calendar. It makes me really, really excited for what else is in this box back here. Um, so I, I'm going to give it a seven as well. I think it's, um, uh, you know, just a, a great, a great beer. All right. For day number one of our advent calendar 2022, uh, we had a good one. The Hellas Lager from the Schnitzel Bomber private brewery um in how do you say this city traunstein traunstein the city of beer um yeah i think uh again great one for us to start off with uh makes us really excited at least for me of what's to come we hope you are playing along at home and uh if you are let us know your score uh for this hellas lager and uh you know you can leave that in the comments there also be sure to check us out on social media the links will be below in the description and uh you know like subscribe and cheers that notification bell as well so you do not miss a single day of advent 2022 brewers advent calendar i'm gonna say advent a bunch i guess um, with that, uh, as Andy would say, just end it uh, for Andy in his Christmas attic. And Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs>